Well, my brothers went on to produce hit records. I went on to produce two kids. <laughs> my brothers got famous. I got stretch marks. <laughs> Folks, I believe there are some do re mis that are absolutely basic and absolutely essential to life. So today we're gonna begin at the very beginning. That's a very good place to start, just like Maria taught us to in that movie. At the bottom of the scale with do. It's spelled D-O. It stands for do the right thing. There was a book that was written in America several years ago in which Americans, just like us, were anonymously surveyed on a number of different topics. And one of the questions they were asked was this one. What would you be willing to do for $10 million? The answers were staggering. 7% of those Americans said they would murder someone. 6% said they would change their race. 4% said they would change their gender. And 16% of those Americans said they would leave their spouse for $10 million. Now, folks, there are probably some of us in this room who would do that one for a whole lot less. <laughs> and we know who we are now, don't we? do -re. Next note on the scale. It's spelled R-E. It stands for Realize Potential and do everything you can to help people reach that potential. I have been infinitely blessed in my lifetime to have people that have believed in me through all these years. And boy, it started very early on with my parents, Billy and Curly Gatlin. In fact, according to my mother, we were singing in the delivery room. She says that when we were born, the doctor held us up, swatted our little bottoms, and we went, all the gold in California. By the time I was 10 years old, summer of 1964, we traveled from California to New York, singing from church to church to church. We ended up singing at the World's Fair in New York City in 1964. Now, folks, you have to understand something. However, we were not invited to sing at the World's Fair in New York City in 1964. But my mother found the guy that was in charge of the music, got him by the collar and said, look, I got four kids that can sing anybody off this stage up here. You need to let them do it. He did. And we brought the house down. And I'm telling you, that's the kind of stuff that my mother and my dad poured into me from the time I was just a youngster. They believed in our potential. Do, do the right thing. Ray, realize potential. Me, mind your manners. Fa, failures to fertilizer. So, solutions begin with me. La, laugh, tea, time is valuable. Make the most of it. And that will bring us back to do. Because you see, folks, you end right where you began by doing the right thing. And I think everything in life flows out of that principle right there. It's all about the integrity and the character that we walk in on a daily basis. It's all about the way we live our life, the lives we touch along the way, and hopefully the song we leave behind. So today I want to leave this song behind with you. It's one that we've written especially for folks that know how to sing their song. Because when you do, hopes and dreams come true. Silence is a lonely cry in a world of need. We're afraid sometimes to speak a caring word. The song in you We'll make hopes and dreams come true. Thank you for letting me sing my song. NSA, keep singing yours. God bless you.